Reverend Insanity. Chapter 406. Feng Jiuji. Nine days later. Atop of a lush green mountain valley, a small waterfall flowed downwards like a strip of silvery silk. The waterfall stream flowed into an ancient lake. The ancient lake was deep and dark jade in color, with ripples on the surface of the water. In the pond, all kinds of carp were swimming about. On the top of a white rock beside the water, Feng Jin Huang sat with her eyes closed. Her face, bright and beautiful, was reflected in the water, causing this ancient lake to gain a brilliant elegance. The colorful carps in the water, the clear pool water, the silvery waterfall, and the green valley all complemented each other. However, Feng Jin Huang's pretty brows were deeply scrunched. Although she has tried her best to calm down, every time she closed her eyes for more than thirty breaths, an image flashed in her mind from the depths of her heart. On an illustrious pink crystal mountain peak, a naked man looked down at her with his black eerie pupils. She was sprawling on the edge of the cliff, and when she looked up, she saw everything on the man's body. His bleeding left arm with a bloody hole, his strong muscles, his broad chest, and the massive thing between his legs. The image was engraved into her heart. The memory was so vivid that the events of that day could never be forgotten by this proud woman. Especially since afterwards, the man stretched out his right foot and stepped on her face. Feng Jin Huang wanted to forget the feeling of being trampled on her face, yet the feeling was so vivid that she could clearly recall it even now. Forget it, forget him. Keep a peace of mind, peace, peace of mind, calm down. Feng Jin Huang breathed more and more rapidly. Her breathing became heavier and her chest moved rapidly as a result and was becoming faster. In her heart, shame, humiliation, and hatred mixed together, turning into a volcano. How dare he? He dared to do that to me. Ah, Feng Jin Huang could not bear it anymore, and suddenly opened her phoenix eyes and stood up abruptly, raising her head and screaming. Boom, the volcano in her heart erupted, filling her chest with anger, almost melting her entire body. You are a despicable and shameless man, you dared to step on my face. I want to tear you to pieces, Feng Jin Huang roared, her eyes glowing with fire as she punched randomly. Bam, 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 bam. The loud smashing sound, like the sound of thunder, erupted continuously. Feng Jin Huang's eyes exuded fire, the beautiful flames evaporated the ancient lake and burnt the green hills around her. She punched without a target as her frenzied barrage sent the surrounding mountain rocks flying as the ground cracked. After almost a few short breaths, Feng Jin Huang completely decimated the valley. Such terrifying battle strength, even if Ten Fang Yuan attacked together, he could not reach such a power level. Ah! This scoundrel! I want rend your flesh limb by limb, I want to step on your bones and crush them into pieces, I'll make you suffer for seven days and seven nights. I swear, I'll make you to suffer endless pain, I want you to die and regret everything you have done to me. Then I'll turn you into ashes and scatter you into the wind. Feng Jin Huang bellowed without stopping, the anger in her chest making her lose all rationality. A few hundred miles away, there were grass cottages built on a mountain peak. Through the window of the cottage, a pair of beautiful eyes stared at Feng Jin Huang, looking worried. Oh, my little feng -er. inside the cottage, a beauty was dressed in white silk adorned with a green belt. She was dignified and elegant, bearing a resemblance to Feng Jin Huang. She was the biological mother of Feng Jin Huang, fairy by king, a rank six gu immortal. Stop looking. You have already watched her for seven or eight times the during the last ten minutes. The jade sea tide tea that I carefully brewed for you is getting cold by now, go sit down and drink it. Feng Jiuji sat by her side, helplessly saying, Drink, 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 all you care about is drinking tea. Is Feng Jin Huang even your daughter? As her father, aren't you worried at all? Bai King turned around, her brows were wrinkled and her tone was resentful. Sai, our daughter Feng Er, had always been competitive since she was a child. Her talent was excellent, and no one was her match in her sect, but suddenly she stumbled and lost. Who immortal inheritance was the first failure of her life, 
but it is also the most important. You are her father, but you're actually still in the mood to drink tea here. Never mind the failure, what's more important is, Feng Er suffered such a huge loss. She actually got trampled by someone. Think about it, Feng Er is proud and had never paid attention to any man her age, yet she was beaten in such a way, with someone's foot on her face, and for the first time, saw a similar aged man's body. This, this. The more Fairy Bai King talked, the more anxious she grew, and her eyes slowly turned red. Feng Juji looked at her and immediately got up, getting to her side, holding her in his arms. He frantically comforted her. Don't cry, don't cry my king Er. Isn't your husband still here? In fact, in my opinion, this event was not without benefits. Oh, what good is there? Bai King casted a doubtful gaze at him. Xi, Feng Er is our pride and joy. I'm proud of her yet also worried. She's too competitive and always wants to get first place. Yes, her talent is higher than mine, and she also has great comprehension abilities, but so what if her talent is higher, is it higher than all the heroes in the world? No matter how good her talent is, can it compare to Desolate Ancient Moon? Feng Jiu explained in earnest. The great Desolate Ancient Moon, daughter of Ren Zhu, failed countless times. Feng Er had always experienced success and victory, but had never understood the taste of failure. This is one of her defects, and also her weakness. King Er, you are a rank 6 Gu Immortal, and I am a rank 7 Gu Immortal, but even if it was a rank 9 Immortal Venerable or Demon Venerable, they can only live long, but not forever. We are able to protect Feng Er now, but one day we will leave her. By that time, she will only be able to rely on herself. Experiencing this failure will help her mature. Birds leave the nest and fly alone. After they withstand setbacks, they can train their wings and fight in the sky. In the future, when Feng Er leaves us, we can be relieved. Feng Er is my baby, I would love nothing more than to protect her inside the blessed land forever. Fairy Bai King leaned on Feng Jiu Ji's chest as she wiped her tears. She sighed and said, Sai, you are right, Feng Er will leave us one day, we should let her train more. But this is too much, she had lost too much this time. Who immortal inheritance was lost, she was even bullied by that immortal crane sect lad, are you as her father not going to do anything about it? HMPH Feng Jiu snorted, squinting as his eyes shone with a cold light. Immortal Crane sect went too far indeed, even though they had promised to compensate us and the other eight major sects. But Feng Er is my daughter, how she can experience such bullying. I have already written a letter and it has been sent to them. If this he Feng Yang does not know what's good for him, I will go to their sect to find him and settle the score. Fairy Bai King's heart eased, it turns out that her husband had already acted. But immediately, Bai King was nervous and looked at her husband. Husband, don't be rash, don't make a huge commotion. Back when you attacked the top ten sects, Immortal Crane sect was also one of the victims. They know that you're the strongest, but don't do this kind of thing again. I know, I know. Haha, ha, you can be at ease. Feng Jiuji calmed his wife lying in his arms, his eyes subconsciously squinting as he snorted in his heart. Out of the top ten sects in Central Continent now, none are worthy of facing off against me. South of the Central Continent, 30,000 feet above the mountains. In the sky, Feihe Mountain was floating among a sea of clouds, looking magnificent and grand, Trees were swaying on the mountain as 10,000 cranes flew by, giving off a living atmosphere of an immortal's residence. Currently, in Shang King Pavilion at the top of the mountain, it was a heavy and grim atmosphere. Feng Juji has gone too far. The Supreme First Elder was staring furiously, his hands clutching a thin letter as he trembled with anger. With a bang, he slammed the letter on the white jade stone table. In the letter, Feng Jiaji listed several overbearing demands. But despite so, Supreme First Elder did not dare to destroy or burn this letter. This letter was shining with an azure green color, it was the transformation of the rank 5 letter sending green bird goo. Once destroyed, Feng Jiuji would sense it, 
If he became furious, the situation would become troublesome. This guy, Feng Juji, was born into the demonic path. In the past, he obtained a rare opportunity and cultivated painstakingly, soundlessly reaching rank 6 Gu Immortal Realm. Once he came out, he amazed the world as he challenged all the heroes in the world, and no one could stop him. The ten sects sent people to challenge him, but they all lost terribly, forced to join forces to resist him. Feng Juji was not afraid, fighting as he traveled for over 10 million miles, suddenly changing his tactic and going for the Yellow Dragon, causing the Ten Sects to lose miserably. The scene was total chaos and there was nothing anyone could do. Fortunately, Fairy Bai King from Spirit Affinity House moved him with true love, finally reforming this demonic head. Back in the day, Feng Juji used his rank 6 cultivation and caused a commotion among the 10 sects it was unimaginable. Now he has rank 7 cultivation and has Spirit Affinity House, one of the 10 sects backing him. This person has the demeanor of a heavenly immortal, although his requests are slightly overbearing, we can agree to it. Supreme Second Elder took out the letter, reading it, and said with a calm tone, Kifong Yang, how can there be such a huge mistake in this matter you were in charge of? That Fang Yuan is not our disciple at all, what motives do you have defending him like this? A thunderous voice echoed in Shang King Pavilion, causing the windows to vibrate. The person speaking was Lei Tan, rank 6 Gu Immortal, and was at loggerheads with Hifong Yang. Places with people have conflict. Immortal Crane sect also has their conflicts and competition among factions. At once, all the gazes fell on He Feng Yang. He Feng Yang was like a young man, gentle like jade. A pair of jade-colored brows extended to his waist. His expression was calm, looking around slowly, then laughed and said, This Fang Yuan is indeed not our disciple, but his brother Fang Zheng is one of us, the leader of the elite disciples of this generation. Lei Tan snickered. A tiny elite disciple's relative, he is worth our backing, the entire immortal crane sect. He Feng Yang, do you know how much compensation we will have to give to the nine sects for this Fang Yuan? Of course I know. He Feng Yang glanced at Lei Tan, laughing in disdain. But these things, even if you multiply it by three, can't compare to a Hu immortal blessed land. Not to mention a fixed immortal travel goo. At once, many of the supreme elders understood. Kifeng Yang, what are you trying to say? Lei Tan frowned, asking impatiently. Chapter 407 Immortal Crane Sex Objective Kifeng Yang only smiled without replying Lei Tan's question. It was supreme third elder who laughed and replied, I understand elder Feng Yang's intention. If we didn't choose to shield this Fang Yuan, who immortal blessed land would still be up for grabs for the ten sects. However, by admitting that Fang Yuan is a member of our immortal crane sect, we have eliminated the other nine opponents, letting only our immortal crane sect seize control of this blessed land. Lei Tan's gaze flickered and his expression slightly changed, but he no longer asked any questions. At this moment, He Feng Yang stood up from his seat. He first cupped his fists towards Supreme Third Elder who explaining the reason. Third Elder is wise. Things happen too suddenly. Who could have thought a mortal would use the immortal Gu fixed immortal travel to appear the peak of Dang Hun Mountain and inherit who immortal blessed land in front of everyone. This who immortal inheritance is at Tian Tai Mountain. Everyone might know Tian Tai Mountain is the stairs that connects to the heavenly court. Even though it was destroyed and had been abandoned for many years, it still represents the might of the heavenly court. In a way, attacking Hu Immortal Blessed Land is attacking Tian Tai Mountain, and attacking Tian Tai Mountain is attacking the heavenly court. Thus, although there are many blessed lands on Tian Tai Mountain, there has never been anyone who had the courage to attack it. Even this time, we waited for Hu Immortal Blessed Land to open before we ten Gu Immortals joined forces to enlarge the passage, with no intention of attacking. Even if we really attacked Hu Immortal Blessed Land, the Blessed Land has a land spirit which would require at least three rank six Gu Immortals to join hands, and even then they might not succeed. 
Moreover, the control area of the blessed land is being protected by Dang Hun Mountain. Without five or six Gu immortals cooperating earnestly, who would dare to say they can climb to the peak? Lei Tan, can you? Lei Tan snorted, he wanted to retort, but kept quiet in the end. In blessed lands, the land spirit could freely mobilize all the resources and their battle prowess could be compared to a Gu immortal. The most important thing was that the land spirit could suppress rank 1 to rank 5 Gu worms. If a Gu immortal wanted to attack the blessed land, their most powerful weapon would be immortal Gu because land spirits could not restrict immortal Gu. However, immortal Gu were hard to find and many Gu immortals did not even have one immortal Gu. Even if they had, it might not necessarily be suited to attack. This was the classic situation of low offense but high defense. If they were set on attacking the blessed land, it would often require the cooperation of several Gu immortals to create a numerical advantage and then competing through the expenditure of immortal essence. Once the blessed land's immortal essence was exhausted, they could start their attack. However, in truth, unless it was some special situation, Gu immortals rarely attacked blessed lands because it was really not worth it. Not only was immortal essence precious and hard to accumulate, there was also the danger of the blessed land self-destructing. In the case where the land spirit could not defend and chose to destroy the blessed land, the winds of assimilation would blow over and destroy everything, causing the attackers to have no gains. When Gu immortals attacked blessed lands, they would often gain nothing and instead suffer heavy losses. Unless it was a matter of deep hatred, nobody would agree to do such a transaction that only created loss. Seeing that Lei Tan was keeping quiet, He Feng Yang continued. That Fang Yuan ascended to the peak and got the inheritance, immediately commanding the land spirit to close the blessed land. Fang Yuan and Fang Zheng looks almost the same. The Gu immortals of the other nine sects realized this and subconsciously thought this was our immortal crane sex hidden move and questioned me one after another. At that time I thought that if I were to say the truth, the Hu immortal inheritance's belonging would be undecided once again as the ten sects would still compete and fight over it. Thus, I acknowledged it, and even if we had to pay such a price for it, we have eliminated the other nine great sects from the competition. Like this, we can secretly strategize about who immortal blessed land without worrying about other forces. He Feng Yang explained the whole story, Lei Tan snorted and asked, There is a big problem in this plan. Who immortal blessed land is on Tian Tai Mountain and is also closed now without attacking and creating a loophole, how can we enter? He Feng Yang laughed, it seems he already predicted this. How could I not have any plans? blessed lands face calamities and tribulations, who immortal died during the fifth earthly calamity. I have already calculated the time, who immortal blessed land will face the sixth earthly calamity in a year and three months' time. Fang Yuan is only immortal, how could he know how to resist the earthly calamity? Even with the help of the land spirit, without a sex support, the blessed land will suffer heavy damage at that time and a loophole will appear. Lei Tan scoffed. Even if there is a loophole, do you dare to attack? Didn't you say just before that who immortal inheritance is on Tian Tai Mountain? He Feng Yang instantly replied, Forcefully attacking is a terrible move, and we will only use it if all else fails. That Fang Yuan is only immortal, as long as a loophole appears and we use some plans and schemes, is there a worry of failing to capture him? He he, once the earth calamity passes, he will definitely start worrying and thirst for external help. I have already planned it, first we use Fang Zheng and use the kinship to move and persuade him into cooperating for some transactions. As we make more transactions, his guard against us will naturally loosen, and using logic to persuade him, we might just convince him to join immortal crane sect. If he keeps on being stubborn, we can use some secret methods. Slavery goo is one good method. There aren't many ways to deal with the land spirit, but there are plenty of ways to deal with a mortal like him. If we can obtain fixed immortal travel goo like this, then it is no doubt the perfect outcome. The elders present felt a rush of excitement at the mention of fixed immortal travel goo. 
many began to whisper and discuss with each other. The outcome He Feng Yang portrayed was truly beautiful. Most importantly, his plan had a chance of success. Lei Tan could feel the change in the atmosphere as he sat down in anger. You speak nice words, let's hope it goes our way. Supreme Third Elder mumbled. Besides special goo like dream wings goo that needs to be activated using the soul, most of the other immortal goo need immortal essence to activate, and this fixed immortal travel goo is not an exception. This Fang Yuan has fixed immortal travel goo, and with the help of land spirit to use the blessed land's immortal essence, he can escape any time he wishes. We need to be very careful to deal with him. Furthermore, there is one point to note, he is but a mortal yet he possesses an immortal goo, he should have a rather deep background. He Feng Yang nodded. Junior has already thought of this point. Back then, when I claimed Fang Yuan was our sex disciple, I checked the reactions of the other nine sects. It seems that not one of the central continent's nine sects are behind him. I am guessing, since Fang Yuan came from southern border, he is very likely to have a super clan of southern border behind him. But be it Wu clan, Shang clan, Tai clan, Yi clan or other super clans, they are all situated far at southern border and cannot help him here. If they were to enter central continent, their battle strength would be suppressed. Our immortal crane sect is one of the ten great sects of central continent, we have a huge chance of winning against them. All the elders nodded at these words and started another round of soft discussions. Indeed, a mighty dragon cannot suppress the local snake. Central continent is our immortal crane sex territory. If they were to make a move, HMPH. Even if their battle prowess was not suppressed, our immortal crane sect is still stronger than any supergroups of the four other regions by a mile. Third elders' furrowed brows relaxed. There is one doubt remaining. To use fixed immortal travel goo, the user needs to have a vivid memory and clear understanding of the terrain he teleports to. Fang Yuan is only a mortal from the faraway southern border. How could he know the scenery in Hu Immortal Blessed Land? And how could his timing be so precise? Could it be Hu Immortal had once set an inheritance in southern border? Or it could be one of the tricks of Tian Tai Mountain's demonic path Gu Immortals. He Feng Yang bowed. Junior is also not clear about this. This matter is strange. Originally, there was only a clue about the Blood Sea inheritance. At that time, one of our sect disciples defected and fled to southern border. A few years ago, I sent Lord Sky Crane to southern border to clean up and trash and bring back the inheritance. But Lord Sky Crane failed and instead it was Fang Yuan who obtained the inheritance, gaining Blood Skull Gu. This kid is very ruthless and sinister, unexpectedly killing all his clansmen on the spot and used Blood Skull Gu to raise his aptitude. Lord Sky Crane was unresigned and brought back Fang Zhang for future plans to retrieve the Gu. He Feng Yang naturally had never have expected a nobody to so outrageously disrupt his plan back then, causing such a huge problem for him. This was a weird feeling. It was as if person was walking on the road when suddenly a small ant jumped on their nose and started scratching it. Where did this ant come from? Such guts, the person could just crush it with their finger, but because of the peculiar situation, they were not able to catch the ant and could only let this ant feel triumphant for the time being. Not this blood sea inheritance again. Hearing He Feng Yang narrate the whole story, the elders present frowned, their heart turned irritated. Blood sea inheritance came from a big shot of the demonic path, blood sea ancestor. He killed people like cutting grass and his infamy had gone down in history. With the might of a rank seven Gu immortal, he had unexpectedly set up hundreds of thousands of inheritance sites that spread over central continent, southern border, northern plains, western desert, and eastern sea. Before his death, he had laughed and proclaimed, Blood path is not lonely, my mark will remain for all eternity. Now, just like he proclaimed, countless mortals had benefited. Blood Sea Inheritance was already proclaimed as the most popular inheritance with the greatest number in the world. There was no competition. Countless righteous path figures were getting headaches because of it. 
Didn't that Zhu Tu who was only a butcher become a famous demonic cultivator after obtaining blood sea inheritance? Years ago, myriad dragon docks Song Zai Zing obtained one of the true blood sea inheritances and defected his sect, causing great humiliation to our ten great sects. Now he is already a rank seven Gu immortal with the title Blood Dragon. To kill this defector and wipe away their humiliation, Myriad Dragon Dock dispatched eight Gu Immortals 5 rank 6 and 3 rank 7. The result was he killed four of them, crippled three of them and beat one into retreating. It is said that Blood Sea has nine true inheritances. They are Blood Skull Gu, Blood Handprint Gu, Blood Kai Gu, Blood Sweat Gu, Menses Blood Gu, Blood Shadow Gu, Blood Battle Gu, as well as the ancient desolate beast violent blood dragon bat and finally, the rank 6 immortal Gu blood deity. He was truly someone who achieved great success in blood path. Speaking of which, four true inheritances of the blood sea ancestor had already shown up. One is blood skull Gu which is with Fang Yuan. Another is blood handprint Gu which is with southern borders current Shang clan leader. Violent Blood Dragon Bat is with Song Zizing. It is said that Shang Clan leader has already obtained the second Blood Sea inheritance. That is only an unconfirmed rumor, there is no evidence to conclude it. The elders whispered to one another. All right, there is no need to talk about Blood Sea true inheritance. It is like searching for a needle in a haystack. All kinds of rumors are increasing day by day. My ears are already getting callous from hearing them. Supreme Grand Elder waved his hand and immediately put a stop to the discussion. He turned his gaze towards He Fong Yang. Elder He Fong Yang, since you brought up this method, then you shall be in charge of it. If you are able to seize the blessed land and establish your merit, the sect will not be stingy in rewarding you. Junior understands, He Fong Yang accepted the order with a smile. Seeing He Feng Yang gain such a lucrative task, Lei Tan felt stifled, but since it was Supreme Grand Elder who said so, he could only hide his hatred inside. However, Supreme Grand Elder added, Since you are in charge of it, then Elder Feng Yang, you should hand over your one's own way Gu, right? In Feng Jiu Ji's demand, he had asked for an immortal Gu. You are the person in charge of this matter, so you should be the one to settle this. Lei Tan was immediately joyous. He Feng Yang could only accept the order with a bitter smile. Chapter 408 Fang Yuan Regains Consciousness Fang Yuan slowly opened his eyes. All he saw before him was a blur pink color. As his vision gradually returned, he saw a thin silk curtain. A light wind blew, the chimes rang, the light pink curtain slowly swayed, making it feel like a dream or illusion. Fang Yuan slowly got up from his bed. This round bed was extremely large, 40 to 50 people could fit on it. A silk blanket that was red on the bottom with golden rims was covering his body. Fang Yuan looked around and found himself in a large bedroom. There was a stove beside the bed, burning some incense. There was a fragrance that arouses people's feelings in the air. This room was made with golden brick walls, silver bricks were used on the ground. Beside the bed, the corners of the room, tables and chairs, dressing table, all of them had large amounts of pearls, agate, diamonds and all sorts of precious gems. The room was grand and elegant, luxurious and glorious, the affluence of the previous owner was emanating in the room. This was Hu Immortal's Dang Hun Palace. It is a gentle home. Fang Yuan commented lightly, getting down from his bed. His body shook uncontrollably as his brain was still dizzy. Fang Yuan did not find it strange, instead he understood clearly this was because he had forced himself too much back on San Cha Mountain. By Ning Bing's betrayal, the pressure from the two factions, and he even had to scheme against the land spirit. First refining second aperture, then refine the fixed immortal travel goo in the torrential light stream. The entire process was accompanied by the mental pressure of taking a risky gamble. To Fang Yuan, be it his body or mind, they had reached their limits. When he used the fixed immortal travel Gu to arrive at Dang Hun Mountain, Feng Jin Huang and Fang Zhang were at their limits, but so was he. Compared to them, 
Fang Yuan's mental pressure was greater. Spring Autumn Cicada could no longer be used, and he had snatched the Hu Immortal Inheritance right in front of the ten sex Gu Immortals, he was trying to pull the teeth out of a tiger, like playing with fire, it was an extremely dangerous move. Fang Yuan was the first to ascend the mountain, and the land spirit chased the other competitors away. After Fang Yuan officially became the Blessed Land's owner, he ordered the land spirit to close the entire Blessed Land. After instructing the land spirit with a few key points, Fang Yuan relaxed at a safe area, falling asleep instantly. Just how long did I sleep? Fang Yuan shook his head, he still felt extremely tired, there was a sense of weakness coming from his soul. At the same time, his ears were buzzing, as his brain could not think as quickly as normal. It was difficult to process questions in his head. Oh no, I injured my soul. Fang Yuan's heart sank, sensing his condition was not looking good. The main reason was became of the immortal goo refinement. Were immortal goo so easily to refine? Many goo immortals would suffer a backlash when making a mistake while attempting to do so, injured at best, death at worst. Fang Yuan used a mortal's body to refine an immortal goo. The main reason was because the recipe was good, originating from Ren Zhu's tales. Secondly, the materials used were appropriate, focused on the divine travel goo, looking from another angle. It was simply converting divine travel goo into fixed immortal travel goo. It was not like in Fang Yuan's previous life, where he used a large number of mortal goo to refine the immortal goo spring autumn cicada. Turning from mortal to immortal, the difficulty was a hundredfold. Even so, the foundation of my soul was too weak and got injured. But thankfully, this is Dang Hun Mountain. Thinking so, Fang Yuan's expression turned solemn, as he said lightly, Where is the land spirit? Fuush, who a mortal land spirit appeared before him. Master, you are finally awake. Who immortal lowered her head, her face was red as she looked at her feet, speaking in a meek tone. She had the appearance of a five to six year old girl, she was cute and young. With a colorful dress and a snow white fox tail behind her, swaying to express her unease. Master, when you were sleeping, I acted on my own accord and healed the injury on your left arm. I wanted to bring you clothes, but what we have here are not your size. Who Immortal Land Spirit reported. The clothes she mentioned was Who Immortal's clothing. They were women's clothing. Of course Fang Yuan could not fit in them. Fang Yuan frowned. Clothing is not important. How long have I slept? During this period, did any strong enemies attack the blessed land? Who Immortal's eyes were large and shining, blinking. Master, during the seven days you were asleep, nobody attacked. Oh, Fang Yuan's eyes shone. He did not know that Immortal Crane Sex He Fong Young defended him, blocking the assault of the other nine sex. But he understood somewhat why no Gu Immortals attacked the blessed land. Who immortal blessed land was not like the Three Kings' blessed land on Sancha Mountain. This blessed land was still very young, it had a land spirit and ample immortal essence storage, and even Dang Hun Mountain as the core protection of the blessed land. These three elements made Who immortal blessed land as secure as a fortress, most Gu immortals had no way to force their way in. How hard was it to attack this blessed land, Fang Yuan knew most clearly. 500 years into his past life, he allied with almost 10 demonic Gu Immortals invading this place. Eventually, he had a narrow victory, only he and Song Zhong were left. Song Zhong was the son of Song Zai Zing, a rising star of the demonic path. He has not been born yet. Back then, I was already a senior of the demonic path. Song Zhang inherited his father's inheritance, gaining great strength, and was able to fight with me for tens of rounds without a winner emerging, causing him to rise to fame from that battle. Thinking of his past life, being used as a stepping stone for this junior Song Zhang, Fang Yuan snickered continuously. Everything's changed now. I'll find a chance to kill Song Zai Zing he he, let's see how you'll come into this world. Song Zizing had one part of the Blood Sea inheritance, it was the ancient desolate beast violent blood dragon bat. 
This dragon bat is not a goo worm, it can be captured and taken away. With the violent blood dragon bat, I will gain an endless number of blood bats. Manipulating blood bats was one of my greatest skill in my previous life. Of course, that is a plan for the future. Now I have to rely on this blessed land to cultivate quickly, getting back to my goo immortal stage. Thinking so, Fang Yuan thought of an important question. Lan spirit, how long more till the next earthly calamity? Master, I was about to inform you if you did not ask me. Right now, the blessed land has already endured five earthly calamities, the sixth is a year and three months away. Who immortal's voice was filled with anxiety and worry. What? A year and three months? Fang Yuan jumped up from his bed, unable to sit any longer, his face turning grim. Everything exists in balance, heaven is impartial. Strength comes with weakness, blessing comes with calamities. Blessed lands have calamities and tribulations, an earthly calamity every ten years, and a heavenly tribulation every hundred years. Not mentioning the heavenly tribulation, but just the earthly calamity. Once it occurs, the might is overwhelming, often causing great disasters. If the blessed land cannot endure it, they will face destruction. Fang Yuan had a blessed land in his previous life, he was extremely clear of the danger of his current situation. To a blessed land, every earthly calamity is a strict test. Earthly calamities get stronger than the one before, who immortal died in the fifth, and Fang Yuan was about to face the even stronger sixth calamity. There are only a year and three months left to the earthly calamity. Why was it not mentioned in Feng Jin Huang's biography? That's right, she is a disciple of Spirit Affinity House, her parents are both Gu Immortals, with their help, it is not hard to block the earthly calamity. But to me, this is a grave situation. The sixth calamity is coming too quickly, even with Fang Yuan's experience, he would not have time to make ample preparations. Other than that, he still had to guard against external enemies. Under everyone's watchful eye, I snatched who immortal blessed land, although the ten sects have not made a move, they are surely waiting to pounce on me. I understand now, the ten sects are waiting for the earthly calamity and want to make use of it. Once the earthly calamity descends, the land spirit will have to face it with everything she had, she would not have time to take care of this master. Fang Yuan was still rank four upper stage, he was easy to target. Once he dies, the blessed land would be ownerless, and the land spirit will have to find a new master. If the earthly calamity causes a huge loophole, Gu masters outside would be able to enter at will. If the ten sects find trouble then, it would add on to his problems, and the situation would certainly turn deadly. Fang Yuan's gaze shone, because his soul was injured, it caused his head to hurt. He rearranged his scattered thoughts and breathed out deeply, deciding. I'll take a look at the situation, make the best preparations for this earthly calamity. If I fail, I will give up the blessed land and order it to self-destruct, not giving the righteous path any resources for free, then escape using fixed immortal travel goo. Although the blessed land was good, how could it compare to his safety? With such a thought, Fang Yuan called the land spirit to bring him outside, he needed to know more about the blessed land now. Yes. Land spirit nodded obediently, but hesitantly added, Master, you do not like clothes? Actually, wearing nice clothing would make one feel more energized, and you will feel happier too. Fang Yuan. The dresses in Dang Hun Palace was not for Fang Yuan to wear, but he had stored some spare clothing inside the Tusita flower. After changing into a black robe, Fang Yuan followed the land spirit, going up on the stairs and reaching the mountain peak. Dang Hun Montaigne's winds were very strong, but land spirit waved her hand and it turned into a soothing breeze. Master, this blessed land has 4,000 km2 of land. The flow of time is five times. The 4000 km2 of land is mostly grassland. The grass is made up of blue degree grass, water chestnut grass, and six divine grass primarily. There are also seven treasure flowers and milk tea flowers etc. The land spirit introduced as she drew a virtual image floating in the air for Fong Yuan to see. 
In the image, there was a classic grassland, with all sorts of colors, like a grass carpet right before him. The blue and poisonous blue degree grass, the chestnut-shaped water chestnut grass, six divine grass which looked like six thin leaves with the feeling of jade, and also the seven-colored seven treasure flower, the cup-shaped milk tea flower filled with nectar that were like milk tea. With these seven as the main, there were also a lot of weed and wild flowers. Fang Yuan looked as he nodded. Do not look down on these grass and flowers, they are cultivation resources. These seven types of grass and flowers were goo refinement ingredients. Some of the flowers and grass even has wild goo worms. With 4,000 km2 worth of land compared to earth, that was one and a half Hong Kong added together. How many goo would there be in total? These wild goo worms were extremely easy to catch. With just a command from Fang Yuan, the land spirit would be able to capture them intact and hand it over to Fang Yuan. Chapter 409 Managing the Blessed Land Fang Yuan asked, Then how many Gu are there in the Blessed Land now? The Hu Immortal Land Spirit raised her head by a bit. At present, there are over 860,000 Rank 1 Gu, with about 52 types of them over 130,000 rank 2 gu with 48 types, 5,000 rank 3 gu with 12 types, only over 60 rank 4 gu with 8 types, and only one rank 5 gu fox skin gu. After Hu Immortal died, her obsession did not disappear and combined with this land's heavenly power to form into an unusual existence known as the land spirit. In some way, it could be said to be a continuation of her life. Thus, the land spirit was the representative of this blessed land and was clear about everything in the blessed land. As Fang Yuan had become the master of the blessed land now, everything in the blessed land was his. Over 860,000 rank 1 gu, 130,000 rank 2 gu. These two combined meant nearly a million gu worms. Fang Yuan recalled the time in King Mao Mountain, those days where he had to scheme and fight for two to three rank one and rank two gu. A blessed land could only be created by a gu immortal, it was the foundation of their wealth, a heavenly estate. Just this who immortal blessed land alone could supply for a super clan. There would not be any problem to put five or six small mid-sized clans like Gu Yu clan here. As for the goo worms in the blessed land, their quantity sharply decreased at rank 3. Rank 4 goo worms did not reach 100, and there was only one rank 5 goo. This situation was also natural. It was the same with goo masters. Rank 1 and rank 2 goo masters were extremely common. Rank 3 were already rare, rank 4 were even fewer, and only one or two rank 5 goo masters might appear among a million people. This was a pyramid distribution, the quantity reduces the higher you go, and the ones who occupied the top were extremely few in numbers. This blessed land is still young, and with appropriate managing, the quantity of the goo worms will still increase. Reaching 10 million rank 1 and 2 goo will not be difficult. But whether I can raise them properly or not, it depends on the types and quantity of the rank 4 and rank 5 goo. Fang Yuan calculated. Mortal Goo Masters would usually only raise five or six Goo, while Goo Immortals could raise a million or even ten million Goo Worms. The difference between the two is as far as the clouds were from the mud. These Goo being raised in Who Immortal Blessed Land could only be considered passable. On one hand, the numbers were little, being only about a million. On another hand, the Goo were not elites. From the introduction Fang Yuan got, they were all ordinary goo. If they were changed to goo like liquor worm or breath concealment goo, their value would be much higher. Even the rank 5 fox skin goo was an extremely common defensive goo. It was effective against wind and water path goo worms, but was difficult to use in complex battlefield. Fang Yuan did not even take a look at it. The thing that really moved him was the time in the Blessed Land. Time flowed five times faster in Who Immortal Blessed Land. That is to say, one day in the outside world would mean five days here. This meant Fang Yuan's cultivation speed would be five times faster in the Blessed Land. 
he could cultivate for a year and three months here when only three months would have passed in the outside world. With this, Fang Yuan's cultivation speed would surpass most Gu masters, and he would have greater initiative for his future plans. Naturally, there was a huge disadvantage to this. Fang Yuan's lifespan was only about a hundred years, thus with this, he would age five times faster as well. The land spirit continued with the introduction. At present, there are about a thousand groups of fox living here. Red fox, golden fox, cloud fox, wind fox, autumn fox, flowing light fox, and so on. The three largest groups of foxes each has about 800,000 foxes. Altogether, there are about 4,700,000 foxes. Fang Yuan quietly listened to it and nodded his head. Three groups of myriad foxes meant three myriad beast kings. The development of the beasts in the Blessed Land had still not reached a level of creating a beast emperor. The classification of beasts was simple. From low to high, they were hundred beast king, thousand beast king, myriad beast king, and beast emperor. For example, Ba Huang and Ying Ming of Three Kings Inheritance were two beast emperors with battle strength that could match rank five Gu masters. They were able to temporarily obstruct Mo Wu Tian and Xiao Mang's advance. There are a lot of fox groups, but unfortunately they are all common foxes and not mutated beasts. Fang Yuan inwardly evaluated. Ordinary beasts worth naturally could not compare with mutated beasts. Examples would be comparing boar and thunder boar, green bull and kunlun bull, wild dog and lion mastiff. Above the mutated beasts were desolate beasts, above desolate beasts were ancient desolate beasts and immemorial desolate beasts. Song Zai Zing's violent blood dragon bat was an ancient desolate beast, one of the nine true inheritances of ancestor Blood Sea. Immemorial desolate beasts were recorded in the legends of Renzu. An example would be the nine-tailed fox. Raising a nine-tailed fox in who immortal blessed land is but a dream. Even raising an ancient desolate beast is impossible. If it is ordinary desolate beasts like Hurricane Fox or Phoenix Wings Fox, raising one or two of them could be feasible, but it would greatly depend on luck. Fang Yuan continued to consider. Since he had obtained Hu Immortal Blessed Land, his plans after rebirth had reached a whole new level, thus he had to revise and modify them. At this time, Jia Clan's internal strife should have already stirred like a wildfire, and he would not be able to participate in it. He also could not participate in the Great Battle of Yutian Mountain. Fang Yuan intended to make full use of this Hu Immortal Blessed Land and cultivate to the realm of Gu Immortal. This meant that he not only had to resist the continuous earthly calamities, but also had to manage the Blessed Land. Currently, the goo worms were barely passable, and the foxes might be ordinary, but they had the potential to grow. Actually, there were a lot more fox groups in the blessed land. At least three times more than the present. But the second earthly calamity caused a meteor fire rain that smashed the blessed land's east area into ruins, burning hundreds of thousands of foxes to death. The dark flames of that time have not been extinguished even now. The fourth earthly calamity was a huge flood that submerged most of the grassland of the Blessed Land's northern area, killing many more foxes. Thus, there are only this many remaining at present. The land spirit pursed her pink lips, her eyes revealing fear and panic as she talked about the earth calamity. At the same time, she waved her small hand and smoke flew to the air, showing the scenes of the eastern and northern parts of the Blessed Land. Fang Yuan could see. The eastern part was a scene of ruin with dust and smoke pervading the whole place. There were meteoric craters all over the place, and black flames were burning around the craters. The flames burned without emitting the least bit of sound, but this manifested an even more terrifying aura. And the northern part was a scene of vast clear water. Dark clouds rumbled in the air and rain fell endlessly. The surging water emitted bleak and gloomy sound, there were bits of grass and destroyed flowers, along with fox corpses floating on the water. These are the dark flame meteor and clouded white sea calamities. Seeing such a bleak scene, Fang Yuan could not help feeling gloomy. 
the might of an earthly calamity was extremely strong. Moreover, there were countless types of calamity and were simply impossible to plan against. Every ten years, the earthly calamity would pose a destructive threat towards the blessed land, who immortal defended for five times before losing her life, and the devastation the previous earthly calamities left were still there and had not been cured. This was a really bad news to Fang Yun, who immortal blessed land has an area of 4,000 km2, but northern and eastern areas were gone, causing the loss of over 1,300 km2 of area. Such loss was truly disastrous. I must settle these two problems. Apart from anything else, a lot of immortal essence will be used in order to suppress the burning black flames and the spreading flood. Fang Yuan mumbled in a soft voice. However, following immediately, who immortal land spirit mentioned an even worse news. Master, the biggest trouble is here. Look, this is what was left from the fifth earthly calamity. She waved her hand and the image changed to show a different scene. Fang Yuan saw a scene of scorched black prairie and a human figure formed from blue lightning was sitting cross-legged on the ground. Its physique was not big and looked quite alluring, however it was formed purely from lightning. The glorious blue light let out an extremely terrifying might. Human-shaped lightning, this is the Earth Calamity Blue Charm Lightning Shadow. Fang Yuan drew in a cold breath. This human-shaped lightning was one of the Earth Calamities. It was extremely strong and could match a rank 6 Gu Immortal. Fang Yuan looked at this scene and immediately realized the killer that killed Hu Immortal was probably this Blue Charm Lightning Shadow. Hu Immortal was an Enslavement Path Gu Master who controlled Fox groups. Enslavement Path was strong but also weak and could very easily be subdued by beheading the leader tactics. Although there were many Fox groups, they could not obstruct Blue Charm Lightning Shadow. In the end, Hu Immortal had to fight the lightning figure in close combat and lost her life. Damn it! How could there be this lightning shadow in this blessed land? Fang Yuan's expression turned extremely unsightly. He had ways to slowly settle the previous two troubles. However, this human-shaped lightning was already beyond his current ability. Master, you need to be careful when you roam around later, this human-shaped lightning strolls randomly around the blessed land. Only Dang Hun Mountain, it dares not approach. The land spirit's pink and delicate face was bathed in the image of the blue lightning, her voice slightly shaky. This lightning is an earth calamity but is also a type of living thing. Since it is a living thing, it has a soul, and thus if it approaches Dang Hun Mountain, its soul will receive shockwaves until it turns to ashes. Fang Yuan had already settled his mind now. Maybe I can use Dang Hun Mountain to settle this lightning shadow, but how can I lure it? Fang Yuan's thoughts took a turn, however the next instant the buzzing noise echoed in his ears again. He shook his head and did not continue thinking. Are there any other bad news? Tell them all at once. He gave a bitter smile and asked the land spirit. The situation was much worse than what he imagined. Who immortal blessed land was in imminent crisis, whether it was the internal worries or external aggression, they were both very grave. As for Feng Jin Huang with Gu immortal parents and also the help of Spirit Affinity House, she naturally did not need to worry about these things but Fang Yuan was just a lone force. Naturally, there were benefits that only a lone force could have. In the biography of Feng Jin Huang, it was recorded Feng Jin Huang had to offer a large amount of resources to her sect after obtaining the blessed land. The land spirit shook her small head. She had already reported the worst situations, remaining were all good news. First of all, in the southern area of the blessed land lived a tribe of rockmen. Rockman was a type of variant humans who lived underground and ate ore as food. This news was an unexpected surprise to Fang Yun. Secondly, there was abundant immortal essence in Hu Immortal Blessed Land. The land spirit brought Fang Yun to the palace in Dang Han Mountain. In the deepest parts of the palace was an enormous golden bowl, which was filled with green immortal essence. Besides the green liquid in the bowl, most of the immortal essence had automatically congealed into a ball. At first glance, it looked like a grape. 
This was something only rank 6 Goo Immortals had Green Grape Immortal Essence. Each Green Grape Immortal Essence Pearl contained Immortal Essence that was much more than the Immortal Essence in the Three Kings' Blessed Land. With this Immortal Essence, there is still quite a bit of hope. Fang Yuan finally breathed in relief. Chapter 410 Dang Han Mountain's Gutstone Fang Yuan counted. The golden bowl had 78 pieces of green grape immortal essence. Adding in the layer of blue-green immortal liquid essence at the bottom of the bowl, it amounted to 78 pieces and a half. There was ample immortal essence, a hundred times that of the Three Kings' blessed land. Fang Yuan took out one bead of green grape immortal essence, holding it in his hand, willing and summoning fixed immortal travel goo. Fixed immortal travel goo was like jade, a meticulously crafted butterfly, it was brilliant and elegant, flying over smoothly. Fang Yuan's face paled as his body shook, cold sweat emerging on his body as his vision turned dark. If he was not holding on to the golden railing at the side, he would have fallen. Master, be careful. Your soul injury was severe, do not summon an immortal goo so carelessly, otherwise you would fall into another coma. Little who immortal shouted, her tone anxious and her expression concerned. No worry, I know. Fang Yuan gritted his teeth, waving his hand as he spread his palm for fixed immortal travel goo to land. Fixed immortal travel goo sensed the green grape immortal essence's aura and fluttered its wings, gliding in the air and landing in Fang Yuan's palm. Next, it laid down on the green grape immortal essence and slowly consumed it. Fixed immortal travel's name contained an immortal word that was not for show. Its food was immortal essence. A moment later, one green grape immortal essence was expended. Goo masters refine goo, use goo, and nurture goo. After Fang Yuan succeeded in its refinement, he had not fed the fixed immortal travel goo yet. He slept for seven days and seven nights, the fixed immortal travel goo was starving, and its lustrous wings had dimmed. This was Fang Yuan's first feeding session for it. After fixed immortal travel goo had its fill, it spread its wings and flew in the air. The bright green light appeared again like dust particles in the air. Every time it flapped its wings, it would be a beautiful light show. The unique aura of an immortal goo continued to radiate. Immortal goo are expensive to feed. Fixed immortal travel goo consumes an entire piece of immortal essence every time. But after this, I would not need to feed it for six years. The higher the rank of the goo worm, the heavier the cost to feed it, but the interval between each feeding session would increase greatly as well. Rank 1 and 2 goo worms needed to be fed every few days. Rank 4 were fed one a few months. Rank 5 were fed every one or two years, and each time they ate, it would be extremely expensive. After feeding fixed immortal travel goo, Fang Yuan left it alone to roam Dang Hun Palace as long as it did not leave Dang Hun Mountain and get killed by that lightning shadow. At this moment, Fang Yuan's aperture was still rank 4 upper stage, it could not contain a perfectly healthy immortal goo. The reason he could keep spring autumn cicada was because it was too weak. Other than that, it was also his vital goo. Problems are classified into important and trivial. After understanding his situation, Fang Yuan confirmed that he was safe for the time being. After settling fixed immortal travel goo's matter, he had to fix his soul's injury next. Let's go, little who immortal, go find the gut stones with me. Yes, land spirit answered quickly. Master, you should have done this long ago, come with me. Little Hu Immortal brought Fang Yuan to Dang Hun Mountain. The two moved on the uneven mountain rocks. Fang Yuan's body was swaying, causing the land spirit to feel worried. Master, shall I teleport you over? Teleport for what? We have to save Immortal Essence. Fang Yuan stared with wide eyes. Little Hu Immortal stuck out her tongue, frightened by Fang Yuan's words, thinking, this master is so domineering, even if he is injured, he is still so scary. Master, there is a gut stone here. After walking for a while, land spirit stopped and pointed at a rock below her feet, shouting. 
This stone was like a person's gallstone, it grew on the mountain rocks, having mixed colors. If one did not look properly, they would think it was an ordinary stone. Fang Yuan quickly walked over, squatting down and smashing this gut stone with his hand. Once the stone shattered, a goo flew out and turned into a gray eerie light, entering Fang Yuan's body. Fang Yuan felt his brain turning clear, a new type of strength had entered his soul, and the buzzing in his ears had lessened. Dang Hun Mountain could shook souls, it was the death grounds of all living beings. It was only because of the land spirit's suppression that Fang Yuan could move around with ease. But Dang Hun Mountain was not a simple death ground. The souls of living beings break into pieces on the mountain, scattering and fusing with the mountain. As time passes, gut stones are formed. And in some gut stones, guts goo are found, it could strengthen a person's soul. This is like how the resting place of a poisonous snake has the herbs to create an antidote. All living beings compete and the world is fair. Where there is life, there is death. Dang Hun Mountain might look like an absolute death ground, but a chance of survival was hidden in it. But this guts goo can only exist for an instant, after that, it would either disperse or be broken down by Dang Hun Mountain again. Although the land spirit can suppress the mountain, the gut stones cannot be moved, they can only be used on the spot. Thus, Fang Yuan had to go there himself and walk around Dang Hun Mountain. After being rejuvenated by this guts goo, Fang Yuan was like a thirsty traveler in the desert getting a mouthful of fresh water. He continued on his way, and with this land spirit acting as a dutiful guide, they found another dozen gut stones, smashing them open one by one. Thus, Fang Yuan gained another eight guts goo to replenish his soul. Not only did his injuries heal completely, it even improved compared to before. Ha ha ha, with this dang Han mountain, I have a mountain of gut stones. As long as I continue to consume guts goo one day, the foundation of my soul will reach a stage where no one has ever gotten to. Standing at the mountain waist, Fang Yuan became spirited as he laughed loudly. Who immortal was a lucky person, because of an opportunity, she managed to obtain Dang Hun Mountain, like she won lottery and moved it into her blessed land. But she was an extremely unlucky person, dying during the fifth earthly calamity. If it was not for the blue charm lightning shadow, she would eventually become the strongest enslavement path expert. Unfortunately, Hu Immortal only had Dang Hun Mountain, but did not manage to use it for herself. But fortunately, this Dang Hun Mountain is mine now. The most valuable part of Hu Immortal Blessed Land was this Dang Hun Mountain. Of course, the soul could not be strengthened endlessly with Guts Goo. Once the soul was not concentrated enough, using large numbers of guts goo would cause it to overinflate and trigger a certain death disaster. But Fang Yuan had his 500 years of experience, all his ups and downs after rebirth, constantly struggling at death's door, his soul was already tempered like steel, keeping calm at the face of death, a heart of ice at impending doom. To Fang Yuan, a few hundred guts goo was no problem at all. There were a lot of benefits and implications in having a strong soul foundation. Be it refining goo or enslaving beasts, it would make it much easier. Other than these, once the soul becomes stronger, Fang Yuan would not have to worry about killer moves like Mo Wu Qian's purple eyes. Dang Hun Mountain is a forbidden ground, first appearing in Legends of Renzu. Legend says that Verdant Great Sun flew towards the sky and ended plunging to his death. Renzu, as his father, was extremely upset after receiving the news, finding Wisdom Gu for an explanation. It was Wisdom Gu who taught Verdant Great Sun to drink, causing the series of events thereafter. Wisdom Gu quickly said, Renzu, oh Renzu, don't find trouble with me. Although your son died, it is not impossible to revive him. As long as you enter the door of life and death, and lead him towards the road of life, Walking under the sunlight, he would be revived. Renzu was shocked before becoming overjoyed and then extremely furious. He grabbed Wisdom Goo and questioned, Wisdom Goo, oh Wisdom Goo, do you still think I am that ignorant boy from before? The door of life and death is a dangerous place. Once I enter, I will never be able to leave. 
After harming my son, you want to kill me too. Wisdom Gu quickly said, Other living beings do not know the secret of the door of life and death, thus they cannot leave. But I can teach you all of these secrets. You are a living person. To enter the door of life and death, you have to enter from the road of death. This road is extraordinary. It was the road left behind by Destiny Gu when it left Fairness Gu. The road left behind was called Path of Destiny. There are many suffering Gu inside the path of life. You have to enter from the road of death, and you need to own courage Gu. That way, you will not fear the torture of suffering. When you enter the door of life and death and see Fairness Gu, you are already dead. But at the same time, you will see your eldest son, Verdant Great Son's soul. You will bring him away and go out from another road, the road of life. Road of Life was the path treaded on by Destiny Gu when it visited Fairness Gu, it is also called the Path of Destiny. But during this path, you will meet three obstacles. One is Dang Hun Mountain, another is called Luo Po Valley, and lastly the Reverse Flow River. To climb past Dang Hun Mountain, you have to smash the gut stones on it and obtain Guts Gu's help. To get past Luo Po Valley, you need to find Faith Gu to help. To get through the reverse flow river, you have to move forward continuously, not stopping for even a second during the process. Ren Zhu heard Wisdom Gu's words and let it go. He quickly found Faith Gu. Ever since he became blind, Faith Gu's light was the only light he could see. Oh Ren Zhu, I can feel your determination in getting back your eldest son. I am willing to help you, but I urge you not to give up on this goal. Because when you give up, I will leave you for good. Faith Gu said with concern. Ren Zhu found Courage Gu next. Courage Gu and Hope Gu were good companions. Ren Zhu had Hope Gu and thus saw Courage Gu occasionally. He had a decent relationship with it. After getting Courage Gu's help, Ren Zhu came to the door of life and death, entering the road of death. The road of death was pure darkness, the large number of suffering Gu were like yellow fireflies swarming towards Ren Zhu. At this time, Courage Gu shone brightly, chasing away the suffering Gu for Ren Zhu. Courage was needed to face death. Ren Zhu succeeded in going down, his body turned whiter as it turned hollow, gradually turning into a ghost. He could see again. When he got to the end of the road, amidst the calm darkness, he saw Fairness Gu. He was extremely shocked by Fairness Gu's huge body, exclaiming, You are Fairness Gu? Why is your body so huge? A mountain is a speck of dust compared to you. The sea is like a droplet compared to you. Fairness Gu's voice was grand. Life and death are the greatest fairness in this world. When I am inside the door of life and death, my body will become enormous. Oh Renzu, you are here for your son right. Feel free to go, he is right there.